So I'm full of confidence stepping up to the first tee. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. Brilliant. I loved it. <laughs> So we're at the office thinking, we've got a 700 yard hole on the 17th, what can we do differently? All right, we're playing this hole, we're, we have a 700 yard 17th hole and we're all gonna play sand wedge only. Yeah. So we're talking seven football fields here that we're gonna play with a sand wedge. What's, what's the over under for you, Wade? Well, I got a secret I haven't told y'all. I had my sand wedge bent to a 25 degree. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, and I stamped a seven on it, by the way, too. So it says seven, but it's a sand wedge. The over under on a 700 yard hole, I would say is 10. Yeah, that's um, fair. I'm gonna try to go a little lower than that. What about you, Pat? I'm, I'm trying to thin it until I get around the green. Right. So, <laughs> yeah. get there. Bye, but be happy. Yeah, and is we got to buy your wedge doesn't get out of the bunker. Is it 25 degrees? So I'm full of confidence stepping up to the first tee. Thin to win, baby. Oh! <laughs> That's a whole How can that possibly happen? There's no chance that that happens. Brilliant. I loved it. <laughs> Oh my god, it's gonna be a long hole at 700 yards yeah, from there. I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> the over. Oh my god. Don't even explain it. Nice! Hey. Wow, ripped it. He's going for the cart path. I'm not gonna lie, I was actually pretty excited about this. Ripped it! Oh, he got cart path loving! Ripped it. I took my sand wedge and practiced putting it in my stance, closing my stance, hooding that bad boy, and trying to skull it thin. And uh, I was hoping it all paid off. Who knew that Wade had gone all week to practice his sandwich shots? It's not fair, you're, you've been practicing. Buddy, come on now. <laughs> he was out on the range every single day practicing, getting ready for this. What is the philosophy here, man? Yeah, up, hit the belly. The belly. A belly shot. Pretty oh, nice. Yeah, okay. so of course Patrick's gonna hit a great shot. That's just what Patrick does. go Gabe shot number two. Shot number two. Four. So I can just imagine Tom Doak in his office dreaming upstream song blue and you're thinking nobody will ever 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 hit a sand wedge from 680 yards out. This is a perfect place for a waste area. All right. He's in business. I'm out. I'm out. I guarantee you that there's not many players that have played stream song from this part of the course. <laughs> shot number two. Coming up. Ooh, wow, that's a different approach. It'll run. <laughs> a little toppy. Oh, that's a peach. Wow. By the time Patrick hit his second shot, I knew that I was gonna be in potentially some trouble. Because why? Because it's Patrick. The guy is a scratch golfer. And I don't know if you've seen me play. I'm not quite there yet. I'm not quite there at all. Now, did that one feel a little thin? <laughs> Sting a sandwich, yeah. Sting a sandwich. All right. I've made it to the silver tee. <laughs> Two shots in. Number three coming. Too high. It's a long hole if you make clean contact, isn't it? I may have had a couple beers in me to loosen things up. And uh, it went just like planned. I'm not feeling good about the over under of 10 at this point. Because how far am I out? Like, still 450? Right now, you're probably five. <laughs> there it is. Yes. There it is. That's deep, baby. A little high. Oof. He's just so he's so used to just hitting them all pure at this point. Number four. Number four. Oh, lovely. Beautiful shot. Yeah, I'm actually hitting a, a scold sand wedge better than I've been hitting my irons all day long, right? <laughs> yeah. Yep. 333 to the middle. All right, shot number five. Here we go. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh! Wow, there's the best one so far. I'm really rooting for Wade here because I know I'm probably out of it. Someone's gonna beat Pat. I want it to be Wade. Uh-oh, that's gotta go. It's getting go. really close. I'm thinking it might go in the bunker. Go, over. go, that's go. Fine. It's over, it's safe. Yes, he is in position. Five shots in. I, I was feeling great, honestly. All right, shot five coming. One sixty-three. Yeah, to the front. Let's see, we got him. Ooh! Oh, way way to get out. Wow! He made a statement. Good right ball. There. Oh my goodness! I say that takes. Good swing. Yeah. Good shot. Good shot. Wow. A little sandwich shot to clear the bunkers. Yes, just to be safe. Oh, I feel like I've run a marathon here. <laughs> so I know that I'm kind of falling behind here, but Wade still has a chance, so I'm hoping this next shot is great. So shot six kind of my do or die that I felt. This shot was outside the range of my normal sand wedge. It was about 105, and my sand wedge usually is about a 95-yard club. Right distance. Son of a gun. I gotta really hit this one though. Is it up there? Actually. Dun 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 dun. My kind of twilight zone. I sometimes hit that little chunky monkey there. So I was just saying, thin is better than fat. Uh-oh, settle. Okay. So that chip kind of broke my heart a little bit. So I'm just hoping and praying that Wade can get this thing close. He's hitting seventh shot. Go, run. It wasn't bad, the line was good, but it just wasn't the length that I needed it to be. So I'm just off the green. I think maybe I've got a half a chance at this thing. Brutal. Flew past the hole, and I heard the words that no golfer ever oh, wants to that. hear. It's still your turn. Come on. Come on, baby. That would've been the first shot I made all day. All right, that's a 10. This is, this is in for a 10. I had a downhill, so I knew I just had to try and cozy it up there. He's putting for seven. Wade's here putting for eight. The drama is building, the tension is rising. This is a little downhill, this could get a little scary here. Let's watch this one. Pretty good stroke. Ooh. It's not a gimme with a wedge, I'll tell you that much. Wade, I think you gotta make this though. So as I'm standing up this putt, I'm not too excited because hello, I'm putting with a sand wedge. Wade, you're gonna have to make this. Are you talking to me? Because I can't hear you. You're in the zone? Oh, I was totally in the zone. One time for mother. Whew. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I ended up uh, a putt short of Patrick. Now to be fair, him being a scratch golfer, he technically should give me at least one stroke on this hole, I think. So really, we're kind of tied. For nine. That's under though. Well done. A nine. Eight. Ten. Ten. Well done, guys. We we uh, hey, we faced the 700-yard monster and we emerged victorious. Fun of that, Gabe. That's the most fun we've had. <laughs> I'll tell you what. It's still quicker than a lot of uh, senior citizens. I hope you enjoyed that challenge. We had a lot of fun doing it. There's gonna be more of those in the weeks in between our main episodes. Our main episodes come out every two weeks and we wanna make sure that you're subscribed and that you ring that little bell. That bell's important because that will notify you when our new episodes are live and ready for you to watch. We've got some incredible destinations coming up. We're going to Orlando to Arnold Palmer's Bay Hill Club and we're gonna see if one of us can hit 
Arnie's famous 230 yard driver off the deck. It's gonna be an exciting finish, I promise. And then we're gonna travel down to Naples, Florida to Tiburon Golf Club. They've got two fabulous courses there, the gold course and the black course, and we're gonna play them both. And later this year, we're going to the Middle East, and we're gonna be riding camels, we're going to be playing night golf, and a whole lot more. So make sure to hit subscribe, make sure to ring that bell, and I'll catch you back next week here on another edition of Let's Play Through.